morning, Pastor Steve here. Revelation 21, 5, Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. This faithful saying comes right after the wonders of verses 1 through 4 of chapter 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. There was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things passed away. I love the idea of being made new along with me, all things, right? I mean, not just me, but everything. It's going to be great. And the timing of this is not in our keeping. But if you look around, you might be suspicious of the timing for sure. Jesus said he'd be right back. It's been a while, hasn't it? Check it out. In 2 Peter, he said, Knowing first that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lust, and saying, Where's the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. But verses 8 and 9 remind us, Beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years, a thousand years is one day. The Lord isn't slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God's seeming delay is so that all of the ones who are to be saved are saved. He works on his timetable, and I am glad he does. But, but look around these days. Revelation 22, 6 says, Then he said to me, These words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show his servants the things which must shor shortly take place. Behold them coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. In your struggles of life, remember the faithful sayings. Keep the words of the Lord. Remind yourself of these sayings. Receive a blessing as you apply them moment by moment, day by day. Because you know, it's coming back. Maybe really soon. You ponder that. That's just it.